Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, boasted Wednesday that she told a reporter to go back to your country after being asked about the disparity in gun violence between the U.S. and the U.K. We don't have guns in the U.K., that is true, but we don't have mass shootings either, a woman, whose identity was unclear, asked Green at a press conference, according to a clip the congresswoman posted to Twitter. Children aren't scared to go to school. Green, flanked by other pro-gun House Republicans, including Reps. Lauren Boebert, Colorado, Thomas Massey, KY, and Andrew Clyde, Georgia, replied, You have mass stabbings, lady. You have all kinds of murder and you've got laws against that. Nothing like the same rates here, the reporter replied. Well, you can go back to your country and worry about your no guns. We like ours here, Green said. The U.S. homicide rate is four times higher than the U.K. according to the Pew Research Center. Nearly 80% of U.S. murders in 2020 involved a firearm. Globally, firearms accounted for 54% of all homicides in 2017 while knives accounted for 22%, per a United Nations global study on homicide. The gun death rate in the U.S. is substantially higher than any other developed nation, most of which have stricter gun control laws. In the past few years, England, Scotland and Wales combined have seen around 30 gun deaths a year. Comparatively, the number of murders involving firearms in the U.S. in 2020 was 19,384. Green and many of her House GOP colleagues have criticized a bipartisan gun bill which on Tuesday cleared an initial hurdle to passing in the Senate, breaking a decades-long stalemate on gun control legislation. The bipartisan Safer Communities Act would expand background checks and direct millions of dollars toward helping states enact red flag laws, which allow authorities to temporarily confiscate firearms from individuals deemed dangerous to themselves or others. A group of 14 Republicans, including Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, KY, and Senators John Cornyn, Texas, Lindsey Graham, SC, and Mitt Romney, Utah, voted to proceed with the bill. Green listed the names of these senators during her press conference, declaring them the elected Republicans that Republican voters do not support anymore. We've got to change our Republican Party, she said. However, polling has repeatedly shown that a majority of voters, including Republicans and gun owners, support background checks and red flag laws.